We're looking good. Soon the announcement is going to come for us, but we know we win already. Supporters of the St. Lucia Labour Party took to the streets just hours after the vote count started in what was touted as the most consequential election in the island's 42-year history as an independent state. Congrats. Thank you. All the best. And Philip J. Pierre, the leader of the SLP, joined his supporters at his Cashews East constituency to acknowledge the victory and the significance of the overwhelming mandate he's been given. Here we go now. One, two. Mr. Pierre has promised to make unity a key theme of his term as Prime Minister of St. Lucia. A government of inclusion, a government that will listen to people, a government of tolerance, and we hope to take this country out of the, the, the mire of the vision and conflict that, that exists now. The St. Lucia Labour Party won 13 seats, seven more than they held previously, including Miku North, an impenetrable United Workers' Party seat with the youngest candidate, Jeremiah Norbert, making history. The SLP scored upsets in Rosalie, with the biggest shock being the defeat of Guy Joseph in Castri Southeast. He was the second most powerful politician in the UWP government. Former Prime Minister Alan Shastney conceded and congratulated Prime Minister-elect Philip J. Pierre in a post on social media. It was a bruising defeat for Mr. Shastney, who lost nine seats, giving the SLP a comfortable margin. Two independents, Richard Frederick in Castry Central and former Prime Minister Stevenson King, who both fell out with the United Workers' Party, won with comfortable margins. So this is the new political map. The Labour Party has 13 seats, the UWP 2, and the independents have two seats in Parliament.